Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with the Sweet Daisies stamp set. Some gorgeous little daisies right here. Has a vase, a stem, a couple leaves, and some sentiments. And then I thought I would play with candy coat. So I pulled out a couple of colors. Let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I'm starting out by putting those daisies into my Misty Stamp Positioner tool. And this is a beautiful tool because I can use that Brutus Monroe Raven Detail Ink and make sure that I get a nice, crisp, clean, dark black image. So I'm going to do this a bunch of times. and I'm not going to make you watch me push down on the platform. Um, and then I'm going to fussy cut out all of these daisies. So um, fussy cutting is something that mm, I don't know if I enjoy it, but it definitely doesn't bother me. So I'm going to do all that. And then I'm going to take my candy coat and I'm just going to take a silicone brush and I am just kind of slapping it down all on this eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So I get the green down and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the yellow. Now I have to say, I've done this technique with a couple different colors of candy coat and I absolutely love this combination the best. The green and yellow just merge together beautifully and it just is amazing, right? Like it's just amazing. So I'm just going to um, splather that, or splather, that is an official word, splather that around and let it dry. So now I'm going to take the photos these are both two photos of me. They are not selfies. My husband did take these pictures. Um, I think, I know for a fact he took the one where I'm smiling without the sunglasses. I think he took the one with the sunglasses. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of tool over top of some foam or under some foam and to just give my layout a little bit of lift and I want to add layers but I don't want to cover up this gorgeous background that I created with the candy coat because it is gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the photos down over top of there and I just put that uh, candy coat background over top a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper and now I'm going to arrange my daisies where I want them to go. I am going to pop some of them up on some pop foam. I'm going to leave some of them flat down on the page. But what I am going to do is create a diagonal line of embellishment. So it's going to go from that upper left hand side to the lower right hand side. And I will tell you, I was still scrapbooking on the counter here um, after the move. I am now currently scrapbooking in my scrapbooking room. Um, still not set up, still not, it's a wreck. <laughs> it's a travesty. I actually lost a layout and I still haven't found it yet. So anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and finish uh, creating this diagonal line of embellishment. I'm just trying to figure out where I want the flowers to go and where I think they look the best. So I want them to kind of be kind of like this natural cascade, cascade, cascading. I can speak cascading bit of flowers. And then I'm going to bring in some letters um, from my stash. And I don't even remember what I titled this bad boy. And I can't see it because of the way my editing software is. So I get the title down and then I trim off the edges of the flowers and decide, you know what, I should probably use this one um, that I cut off and put it up here up at the top so that there are some cut off edges on both ends of the diagonal. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab some dots. I think I grabbed some dots. Oh, I needed to add a little bit more, um, a little bit more stability underneath of that photo. 
Do I add the dots? I thought I did. I think I grab some acrylic bubbles. I do. I grab some green acrylic bubbles and then I'm going to place them around the layout as well and then I will glue them down. Now again, this is going to follow that same kind of diagonal line of embellishment um, so that your eye will be drawn from the top of the page down to the bottom or if your eye grabs the title first, it'll draw you all the way up to the top. So that is the layout, you guys. Sometimes it is so much fun to do all of your inking and mixed media in the background and just put your basic stuff on top of it. And that's what I did here. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.